How will each of these factors affect reaction rate? Reaction concentration, temperature, the presence of a catalyst, and surface area. Let's study each one individually. So how will reaction concentration affect reaction rate? Well, let's say these are our molecules here. We know that they have to collide. They have to collide with enough force or activation energy, and they have to be properly oriented. So those three things have to happen. So if we increase the concentration, well, it's fairly obvious. If we increase the concentration, there's going to be more collisions, simply because there's just more molecules in the same amount of space. And because there's more collisions, there's just a greater probability um, that more of them, more of the molecules, that is, will have sufficient activation energy and proper orientation. So as you guessed, the relationship is direct. So reactant concentration and reaction rate are directly related. When you increase the concentration, the reaction speeds up. Okay, how will temperature affect the reaction rate? This is fairly obvious, too. If we heat these up, you already know that temperature is a measure of kinetic energy, which means these molecules are going to be moving faster. That's why I've drawn the whooshies to be longer. So if these molecules are moving faster, it's just simply more likely that they'll collide more often and that they'll have more energy. So higher collision frequency and a greater number of collisions having sufficient activation energy and proper orientation. Oh, this E sub A, that's energy of activation. So what's the relationship between temperature and reaction rate? You guessed it, of course, it's direct. So if you increase the temperature, you will increase the rate at which the reaction proceeds. In fact, we have sort of a general rule. If you increase the temperature by 10 degrees C, the reaction rate doubles. Now this is just, it's not something to live by, it's just something to, uh, to keep in mind. Okay, how will a catalyst affect the rate of a reaction? So if we have hydrogen peroxide and we allow it to decompose, it will decompose into water and oxygen gas. In fact, you can see the oxygen gas bubbling from the hydrogen peroxide solution. Now, if we add a catalyst, um, let's say potassium iodide, what will that do? Well, you probably guessed from biology that a catalyst is going to speed up a reaction. Uh, do you remember what a catalyst is? Well, a catalyst, it does not get consumed in the reaction. So if we add um, a certain amount of catalyst at the beginning, after the reaction is completed, we'll have the same amount of catalyst. So it, in a way, participates in the reaction, um, but it doesn't um, get consumed in the reaction. Usually we write a catalyst above the reaction arrow. A catalyst helps orient molecules in a way that leads to productive collisions because less energy is required if molecules are oriented properly. So it's sort of hard to visualize um, and even understand, but for our sake, we'll say that potassium iodide um, helps to orient this, this decomposition reaction. Um, how, how it's actually um, playing out, like I said, it's hard to visualize, but um, that's the explanation we'll go with. Now, here's a test question you'll probably see on our test and maybe even on the ACT um, and maybe again in college. Um, how does a catalyst work? Well, it works by orienting the molecules. Um, and when it orients the molecules, it reduces the amount of activation energy. That's an important, uh, almost like, phrase to memorize. You'll see that over and over again. So a catalyst works by reducing activation energy. OK, lastly, how will surface area affect a reaction rate? Well, this is a grain elevator fire. Maybe you've heard of these, maybe you haven't, I'm not sure. But a grain elevator, um, that's where grain is stored. It, it could be any type of grain, wheat or corn, um, something like that. And what can happen is 
grain dust can accumulate inside the elevator. Now if the grain dust is particulated or aerosolized or suspended within the column here, um, it would be mixed with air and that creates um, essentially a good stoichiometric ratio for combustion because we have the flour or, or whatever the grain is um, in the right mix with oxygen and that lends itself um, towards combustion. Um, I don't know if you've ever tried something like this before, but if you try to touch a match to flour, like powdered flour, um, it doesn't light. But, but if, if, you, if you blow flour through um, a flame, it, it will ignite. Um, so surface area will certainly affect um, how fast a reaction will take place. Uh, it, it should be kept in mind that surface area is not a factor when reactants are in solution or gas phase, but it is important when reactants are in different phases. Now this makes sense. Um, surface area is not a factor in a solution because it's essentially all surface area. Um, same with gases. When two gases are mixed, that's all surface area as well. Um, but it really comes into play when we have like a solid and a liquid or a solid and a gas.